Sunday the 3rd of January 2010. I'm Paul and I'm going to show you some of the places that have been inspiring my poetry. Sounds terribly pretentious. <laughs> oh yes, come and see my, my countryside. Hello, 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 and welcome to a short show in which I'm going to take you for a walk, basically. Um, I'm down near Swanage, um, near the cliff tops, and, and um, I, I've, been, I've been busy writing this poem, that Old Blood Moon, it's my first poem of 2010. Um, I'm revisiting old haunts today, uh, which I, I'll explain more about as, as I show you around. Okay. The last time I was in this uh, area of the country was exactly three years ago at New Year 2006 um, when I did a lot of preparation work for my novel Gladstone McWhiskers Throws It All Away uh, which was all set in the countryside and a lot of it was set in this particular area, although uh, I changed the names to protect the innocent. As I say, I've been uh, working on some new poems um, since I've been here. Uh, one of them is called That Old Blood Moon, which was inspired by the fact that on New Year's Day there was a very spooky blood moon over Swanage. And uh, anyway, I may read you some of the lines in a minute. Anyway. Let's, let's go up here, shall we? That old blood moon is watching as it shines across the bay. Yes, it knows if you are coming and it senses if you'll stay. Does it know your every answer? Why is it so keen to wipe the slate? As it hides on the horizon, is it lying there in wait? Why does it need to know your business? Why did the sad old moon start bleeding? Is it because its heart is broken, or just because it has been feeding? Whilst I've, um, whilst I've been up in Swanage, I've, uh, I've also worked on a few other poems for my next book, um, which is called Death of Love, and uh, the last poem I completed in 2009 was called um, The People That You Love When You Are Young, which is, uh, it's, it's not as sad as it sounds, it's kind of reflective. Uh, later this year I uh, hope to make some more videos like this, but um, my friend Nick should be helping, which will mean they're probably a bit better than this. And uh, well, at least I hope they are. But uh, I'd like to uh, branch out into uh, being a video, a video poet. There, I've done stuff on Vimeo, and maybe you've seen those. Um, and I've done the odd video here and there. But I thought you should see the uh, the uh, lovely outdoor locations as well, because then at least if I'm boring, then. Well, the views might be nice. The other thing that uh, I've been doing during my stay is working on proofing my next book. The one before the death of love, which I mentioned earlier. This is Do Yeti Wear Pyjamas. And as you can see, it's almost finished. But uh, what I've been doing, what I've been working on, is uh, it just changes really. Um, so that's something else I've been doing. So as you can see, do Yeti wear pajamas is almost complete now. But uh, I am just doing the finishing touches, doing the finishing touches to it, and working on some proofreading, changing a bit, a few bits here and there. Be ready by about March this year.
Hello again. Um, um, I'm now on a place called um, Dancing Ledge, and I'm not going to do any dancing. Um, well, maybe, because Yetis are known for their dancing, and I am shy Yeti, but, <coughs> well, you know. Okay then, just a little bit of dancing. The Caffeine Queen. Caffeine Queen, a playful teen, cheerleader of the coffee bean. She stays awake, alive and bouncy, her fashion sense all rather flancy. She cares not one bit, sits looking smug, her day's perfection with a brimming coffee mug. Caffeine Queen, no more serene, kept awake by the coffee bean. Her brain keeps chomping at the bit, she needs a new espresso hit. She needs a shot, it's quite a habit, conceal your stash or else she'll grab it. Caffeine queen, so young, so mean, addicted to the coffee bean, addicted to sweet domination, but oh, her breath, abomination. She really needs to use some paste to scrub her teeth, yes dear, with haste. Caffeine queen, out on the scene, now sips a decaffeinated coffee bean. Her life now has some proper order, no more consumes what once you pour her. There's time to think now, with time to mull. Alas, our queens turn deadly dull. That's a poem that's going to be in this new book called Do Yeti Wear Pyjamas? Well, that's about all we've got time for. As I say, I hope I'll be doing some more videos quite soon. And uh, thank you for watching this one. And I shall see you soon. Goodbye.